weather is so nice. Just, I don't know, probably in the 30s every day, so I'm not complaining. But it definitely does does take the take the energy out of you. So yeah, it's all good. hearing about my crash to be honest it's all anyone talks about so it'd be good to uh try and get a win today and put that all behind me so you've been looking real good up there like you finally like really comfortable on your bike and yeah bike's feel feeling like as rough as this place is the bike feels actually so smooth on pretty much all of it so yeah just enjoying it trying to uh, trying to be smooth and fast at the same time which isn't easy to do here so Probably get a little loose in my race run this afternoon and yeah, just try to hold it together to the finish line and hopefully be the fastest guy. But I know uh, there's a lot, lot of guys going fast this weekend, so we'll just see how we go. On the last bus home, to the end of the line, for the coppers are on. I get thrown off, hit on, beat up before I drown. In the murky backwaters, I lay my body down. Ça va dans ma ligne, c'est fluide. Euh, moi, je, ça ne me pose pas de problème. Après, ça fait peut-être peur aux autres, mais ce passage ne me fait pas peur. Je, je me sens bien dessus. I can't believe how many people are up there. It's amazing. It's so it's almost as good as Fort William down the track. Amazing. I was like, you guys need to give me a drink. My mouth is so dry. You're like unsealed, <laughs> choking all the way down. Absolutely wild. Like you don't know whether to hold on and try and like break or just let go of the race and try and hold on. Uh, oh, gnarly. I think I tried. My brother texted me after, and he's like be like water. I was like, water. Oh, shh. Needed a wee. <laughs> Gnarly. I feel sorry for G, last man down there. Everyone breaking and throwing rocks up and air horns in the track. Like, girls in bikinis, dudes, like, chops off, barbecue. It's like, it's amazing.
stoked. You know, like, two years ago when I was here, I ended up fourth, and that was the first podium. So to come back and get fifth on the same track is just amazing. You know, the first two rounds I wanted to come to and just get through and get a top ten, I guess. So to come here and leave points inside the top ten and get a podium is just I was speechless. I'm just so super stoked and can't wait to go home and train. And yeah, it's just like a new motivation to do better. Good and uh, well, they all rode good. That was an awesome uh, finale to the to the race. And uh, yeah, no, well happy with that. Dodie, bring on Andorra. <laughs> Massive fan. <laughs> you got plenty of fans here. We're near at the back. Yeah, a, a while ago. I don't think any of them remember it. <laughs> Are you going to remember this one over a little while? Yeah, for sure. This was. Uh, I don't know, going into last weekend I was kind of nothing to lose, nothing riding on it and this weekend to do it again you know, with Rach, you know, it was it was on the cards so I was, I was cracking on. In a short series like this, only six races, you two wins is pretty good for the overall. Right? Yeah, amazing, I mean, I wanted to come into these two rounds hot and, you know, it's set me up really well for the rest of the season but, you know, anything can happen, it's, it's a, a long way from uh, from wrapped up, you know, so we've only just started and I'm pretty happy. You know what this makes you? It makes you the first loser. I know. <laughs> I think second is a lot shittier than third. It's, I'm amazed, I'm pumped and really happy to finish second today. It's, it's uh, one of my favorite tracks, yet I've always hurt myself, so it was cool to, I slowed it down in practice and just saved it for the race and yeah, I rode a clean run and a good run and no complaints for that, just G rode second quicker today and yeah, can't, can't be any, Nothing to complain about. It's sunny, didn't rain. <laughs> Good. I'm alive again. Top section, I made a mistake. The one thing that I didn't want to do, I did. 
and I lost some speed onto the fast carrying section up top. So I tried to push a bit harder through the middle. And um, that section, I was actually trying to back off a bit. Drop into the rear because I had a close one in practice. And then I jumped in over that stump. I don't know what the hell I hit, but whatever I hit, it spat Siamo something. Pronti per the foot. Con le premiazioni. I just thought, oh, here we go. Another, you know, remember Gwynny a couple of years ago when he landed off that thing, he had a huge over the bars. I could just kind of feel the same thing come in. Don't know how it happened, foot came onto the pedal. I just lost a bit of speed down into that next section, which was, you know, quite flat. So I had to put in a couple of pedals, get back up to speed, but who knows, the result might have been different, but it was cool. I, I had a good run, I had fun, I had a good time down that hill. It was super gnarly, I'm glad I stayed on. A lot of guys were crashing, and uh, I didn't want to be in front of them. Either. So, no, I'm stoked, it's very, very cool. I cannot be more happy, so it's good. Is this your first podium? Yeah, of the year. Last year was uh, just uh, an exception, but now it's, it's amazing. For a first year elite for me, I couldn't expect more like that, so it's good. You're feeling pretty strong, like you kind of about to Yeah, the I wanted to do it, could was it like top 10, but fourth is amazing. The amount of times Stevie's been on the podium, like, oh my eyes, I can't see anything. I don't care, but closest to them. I guess he hasn't been up there as many times as you. You're a veteran. I think he's just hard bastard. Champagne in his eyes doesn't bother him, he just takes it. Fuck yeah, dude. That was... Cheers, bro. It's I was like, man, I feel like 2010 Jesus kill it. That was sweet. Well done, man. Yeah, man. Still great. Fucking buzzing. Yeah, I bet. No way you shouldn't be. After I crossed the line, it's like a run felt like a bit calm in places. Thrown it away across the line. Oh man, over the moon. No, that was sweet. Good work, man. Bike felt sweet, man. Appreciate uh, it. Thank you. you man. Good work. Good laugh. Well, Sven, so that's uh, the end of what what an amazing race, Val de Sol. Um, I guess in the end it came down to experience and um, race skills. And also, but then you had the young guys, Lord Bruni and, um, and Troy Brosnan. So, Two halves of the of the podium, really, would you say? I mean, well, the thing is, somebody, there's a lot of guys crashed out, you know, kind of Hill, Brooke, Danny. I'd look easy to make mistakes. It's kind of a weird one because the experienced guys, like Gwen and Greg, they were kind of off the back Friday and Saturday morning. Um, Greg probably walked the track more than anybody here, multiple times, and he still was looking. So Greg's experience brought him back, but then both Troy and Bruni. Bruni said he made a mistake up top, and he's like, oh shit, I, I'm, I need to just now get loose. And on this track, as we saw with Sam and Brooke, like those guys look to the fastest guys on the track, and and they basically rolled the dice, and you know, it didn't work. You, I mean, you, you do have to roll the dice in this hill, don't you? You do have to take risks, because there, there are so many roots, there are so many rocks, and you just have to... I, you just have to let it go, don't you, really? I, no, I think, I think the dryness made it too hard. Like Stevie said, as soon as he let it go too much, like Stevie used to be like a brook rider loose and sliding, but he said as soon as he tried to like get on the gas, kind of like go for a big win, it was getting loose and sketchy, so he had to reel it back. Because Steve looks smooth, Steve looks fast and smooth all weekend, but he didn't look half as quick as Brook. But was that actual speed, or was that just looking quick, okay. like yeah, pounding yeah. through like Brook yeah. went? Yeah, I think you know, with a hit like this, you've got to. If you look at Minar, the way he races, he doesn't get into an arm wrestle with the hill. He knows how to avoid all the collisions. I mean, there are a lot of collisions on that hill, and I was just seeing him going down, and he was just hopping over things, avoiding all, all confrontation. Really, it's pretty yeah. impressive, isn't it, really, to do that? Yeah. No, Minar. Yeah, like G said, like Minar surprised him. He's like. He says, hats off to Manar for getting back up to there. Because, like, it, it, I wouldn't say he was struggling, but, you know, after after the um, after the Mitch Frenchie huck to yeah, Remy yeah. Tiron, yeah, yeah. like, Manar was actually doing that better and smoother than Remy today yeah. in all his practice runs. And, and he was definitely not doing that yesterday. So, like, Manar, yeah, he, he knows what it takes. 
He knows the seconds he needs. To, he knows the time he needs to get on the course to basically be up. There. It's uh, shaping up for a good season, really, isn't it? There's already a few kind of surprises and um, you know, kind of grin back. I and mean, you, you know, eight seconds up here last year. How can you go from eight seconds up to to that far behind? What, what do you think Where? the reasons are? I don't know where Gwyn finished today. Sixth. He was actually 100th or 200th off Troy. Off Troy. So he was a podium finisher almost. Troy like literally just he, he risked everything and, and he's like the wild card podium because Gwyn I, I I couldn't see the race run on the TV but Gwyn for sure this morning was like he was going to be like first or second. He wasn't going to be anything else than that. So I don't know how his run went if he rode tight or I don't, I don't know what happened. But um, yeah. So. This track, yeah, they, they, you can, Fort William, you can just kind of go through, it's rough and loose and was dry, but there's a track and you stay on the track. This track, you, you can't, you're not channeled. How, how, can you, how can you describe to people what it is actually like up in those woods? Because it's, <laughs> shit, I don't know, they, I tell you, every track has a section where someone can, if it's raining, pull a tear off, or sit up, or, or almost like, you know, there's a catch your breath and be like, all right, I made it through that. When you walk in this as a photographer, you're like, you keep getting confused because every section is almost a section worth shooting. Or, and if you're a video or filmer, it's even worse because you can literally film every section on this track. And Fort William and other tracks, they, you know, you have your four or five go-to spots. This track was wide, it was changing, and um, and there, the different lines to the corner. There wasn't a fast line; it was just south, really. Like guys would go inside, inside, and other guys would go outside, outside, and there wasn't really a difference in pace. Yeah. Okay, Rachel, another take another win in the, on the, the women's. It's pretty impressive. Two in a row for Rachel. She, she looked pretty unbeatable, really, didn't she? She thought she. She's. I don't know what's with her head. She thought she got third when she crossed the line. She. she you can hear her in the background. <laughs> this is Rachel. Ra Lugger. Rachel. Rachel. We're just talking about you. Anyway, she, she, <laughs> she, she, uh, you know, she, she still doubts herself, but I think when it comes to downhilling, the speed is to the strength, and we used to, we used to say women can't ride like men because physically they can't, so they need to be more smooth and fluid and, and precise. But Rachel is getting the gap on the, on the girls because she's riding a little bit more like a man. She she's is, strong enough. Now. She is totally happy as well. Rachel, Rachel. She's got a little Irish bedfellow. Makes you uh, happy, right. doesn't it? I guess so, yeah. Did you show a quick? Have you had a chat with Rachel? Yeah. Rachel! You have done? Yeah. Oh, okay. No, we don't need Rachel. She's had enough camera time. Uh, well, that's. that's um, I think that's it. Well, where are we going now? Andorra. I yeah. and Andorra. Yeah. I think. Can the experienced riders adapt quick? Or. or okay, new track. Can an experienced rider that set his ways and ridden his tracks more than all, more than Troy and, and Loic Bruni and Brooke, will the experience have them adapt quicker to a new track or will the new young blood that's just loose and can the adapt thing, to a new the thing, Okay, we, we, talked, about new, we talked about the new young, young blood before. You've got Hart, Bryceland, um, Blankensop, you, I mean, you've got, I mean, you've got, you've got Brooke McDonald, you've got a load of guys, some of them have won one World Cup, a lot of them have, haven't won a World Cup yet. All these names, and... Um, Where was Josh today? Josh is down seventh, I think. So he's not, close. Not too bad, yeah. So, um, but, you know, they need to start, these guys need to start winning. Well, I mean, it's actually, I mean they're not going to start winning because, like, I mean... Petey was winning two years ago, and that was at 37, and Greg and G, they haven't passed their prime. You know, Greg has, has proved, you know, it's probably going to be Greg G. Oh, actually, I'm not going to call about Peter Marinsburg now, that's a whole different kettle of fish. The thing with G, right? G hasn't been winning the races the last few years. Yeah, but he's, he's been, been on every, every podium. He's been podiums, but he's not been winning. But yeah, you, but, but, but you see, you but know, but how you close winning. has he been to the win? There's always been a. Yeah, when been when, close, when yeah. Gwen didn't win, or, or Minot, it's been like a wild card win mm -hmm. where G has been steady, steady, steady. So is it the bike or is it just, you know, a combination of, of everyone stepping it up each year? I don't know, they seem to have got all the elements right, the bike, I think the it's, mindset, I think it's the physicality. I think it's the nipple plasters, <laughs> really. It's like a skin suit. Rachel! Rachel! Need some wood! Rachel! Rachel needs some wood! <laughs> Rachel, come over here, we're live! <laughs> Great! She's gone. <laughs> um, now, 
We're not wrapping this up for you, while are we? No, we're gonna, we're gonna fucking say some profound shit right now. We haven't argued yet, Steve. Come on, uh, where's the argument? We're supposed to argue about. disagree on something. <laughs> have a sip more of beer. Um, we need well, then how come Brett crashed? He must have been on too small right. a bike, was he? Oh yeah, here's Rachel. Let's have a chat with Rachel. Rachel, Rich, come over here. You got a second? Give us a minute. We'll bring you wine with you. Dan Brown's track, where national champs are. Brownie's track. So on. Dan Brown dug the we track. We were going wine up there a few years ago. Someone said, "Is Dan Brown going to be there?" Our other mate said, "He's not actually a real person." <laughs> and it was fucking funny. Rachel, <laughs> Rachel, you're you're, uh, really funny. you're a very happy person, aren't you? You're a very happy person. Yes. I'm trying to have an argument with Sven. So how about we Love say, arguments. how about you, we say that by talk about bikes, and you're very happy with the bike, and it does make a difference. Would you say? <laughs> No difference at all. I could win on anything. <laughs> Honestly. There you go. Well, that's so funny you show you that because I you spoke win, to my brother, could you, could you, could, Dan Affen, yeah. very involved in the design of this bike. Right, yeah. And I was like, Do you reckon Dan gets more feedback? Better win. finish, man! I said, <laughs> I said, I don't think that I would win if I wasn't on this bike. And he was like, Bullshit. And I was like, Well. Okay. I don't right. know. Do you reckon, I, did Dan give more input, do you think, to the frame design than G? No. Is he more intuitive on... No. Okay, here's one. Well, let's shut that one down. Here's one for, here's <laughs> one for Sven then. Sven. Uh, no more. Sven, I think you'll find... Is she faking it or is it Sven, are you listening to what? Yes. I think you'll find that Rachel is actually on a bigger bike than most of the men told yeah, you finishes today. Big girl. <laughs> is, she, is she a bigger, bigger bike than Brooke? Where's my word? Uh, Bigger than Brooks, bigger than Gwyn's. Really? Yeah. No, no. Hang no, on now. Seriously. Rachel's medium is bigger Twice than Gwyn's speed, large. <laughs> Correct. There's no way in Yeah, but we, because the girls need to ride like... Where's your tape measure? Are you lost your tape measure? So <laughs> but look, do, do numbers matter? <laughs> Rachel, how Rachel, tall, I'm Rachel. I'm taller than them. How tall are you? I don't know. We measured 5'8". Rachel, Rachel five, ten, did you really think he came down in third? Yeah. How come? Because he's... Italian. I was like, oh, bollocks. And then I turned around and I was like... Did you not see the green? Actually, that's what I always want to ask you. Do people, you ever see the that's green? That's bullshit. People say, oh, Do you see I, the I was green? coming down the last Do you see straight, the, did you I see could the see the green in the distance and I was so happy. That's bullshit. <laughs> did you see? I couldn't even see. <laughs> I was going to die. Rachel, I can't even see straight, let alone green. Mm. Yeah. Rachel, Honestly, it's bullshit. Rachel, you're very relaxed at the top of the hill. Compared, I, you know, I was there compared to all the other girls. Oh. You were noticeably more that's mellow. Because we are she has, mates. She has a schedule. Okay. She has all no, serious. Really. Every minute's planned out on top of the hill, she doesn't think. Yeah. Every minute of the day. Yeah, okay. We haven't planned this minute. What are you going to do with this anyway? Autopilot. I've learned. What do you do with all this stuff? Do you drink it? I drank it. it. She drank, you drank it. Podium, yeah. First time I drank it. Really? Because your brother, Dan, has never had a drink in his life, has he? That's yeah, yeah. not true. That's when not he gets true. a little cold, a whole bottle of whiskey. Oh, I'm sick. <laughs> Honestly, at Wyndham World Cup a few years ago, a tiny sore throat, a whole bottle of whiskey. Dan it's Atherton. like this at dinner. <laughs> <laughs> you, you'd like, yeah. Hey, so Rachel, we can drink wine. Rachel, five weeks till Andorra. Is it? Back to your kind of, you know, kind of old patch, old team, all that kind Andorra of stuff. Andorra was a triple win for you guys. Yeah. Do you think they, Dan, have they got an enduro there? Well, they should, then it would be another triple they win. They did maybe. have. Really? Or, or otherwise, Taylor Vernon could not crash, maybe you can get a triple win anyway. <laughs> so, <laughs> what, 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 advice, what, what advice can you give Taylor? I told him. Pay attention. I said, you've got two more years, or three, of crashing, and then you'll learn. All right, okay. So don't worry so about it. So juniors must just go balls out. And then, yeah, Steve, what it should, what it, Australia for juniors, they don't need to get consistent yet. No one really cares about a junior overall podium, to be honest. It's world champs, and then see where you're placed in the elite. Yeah. And so look how many juniors, juniors are awesome. I mean, the juniors can snap their arm off, and they can get another one. Their bones <laughs> heal quicker than ours. Juniors should just be balls to the metal no. all day long. Yeah, well, at least for first year. I don't know. Whatever your character, but there's no like no matter what anyone tells you, you learn. From, you have to learn from your own mistakes, and that's just the way it is. I think uh, I was talking to Sven. I think uh, definitely race craft and race skill came yeah. into this event today. Yeah, definitely. Avoiding getting into a fight with a hill. Yeah. Kind of just. You, you guess you did. Yeah, I'm, because I'm, I'm, I was like, oh, I'm going slow, and I was like, brilliant. This is brilliant. <laughs> like, and then people like. You think if you feel like you're going slow and smooth, you're like, fuck, I'm not going fast enough. But G said the same, he said he thought he was going slow and, and too smooth, so he sped I, up I, and then he was like, oh, that's too I, t that's I told bad. him I told him this morning he looked slow crossing the road and he went, he said he, in his race ride, he went across the road and he's like, fuck, that felt slow, so he's going to be mad. <laughs> and, he, and he quickly went faster in the next section to bring them back. But then you crash, so like, definitely experience comes into it. Loads. Rachel, what are you going to do for five weeks? Well, holiday? 
National Langoflin, National Champs of Ridge Felling. Right. And then it's So when are you going to do Enduro? <laughs> Afi texted me and said, I think you've qualified to ride the Enduro loop in Langoflin now. No, so yeah. I did see. I did, I did see Dan's tweet, quite impressive, double murder. So he said, Double, Double murder. murder. He's full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> He's been in America too long. He's been there two weeks. He's actually probably saw Double Murder on, on Victoria because it's a gang style. Yeah. Double Murder. <laughs> Parking lot. What's, uh, what's, the, what, what's the Motorhead said. amps? Murder 1. I guess that was Murder 2. Wasn't Taylor, doesn't Taylor have 187 plate? Isn't that American? That's 187 is a, is a, is a cop killer. <laughs> it is. And he went Where's down. all these facts coming from? It is 187 to his motherfucking like clock. <laughs> Like some, some fucking World Dr. Dre shit. Hey, look, so let's wrap it up. What, a, what an amazing event. Uh, let's have some Pringles, boys. Josie, how long do you thrilling. think, how long, how long do you think well. we can release an unedited version of this? And how long do you think it would take for people how to tune out? People watch it? Yeah. <laughs> Should we Bad see? Minute? Should we just dribble on and then let's just see? We're on a poll at the end. Well, it's like, what, at what minute did you guys clock off? Yeah. What, what, what? Got guys. Just shoot him at the top. Will you stop? Stop. Let's stop this. Let's stop this now. Go on, let's stop this. Sneaking now. around, all right? Just sneaking around, zooming down the land, like down the ambulance, then into the field. Sneaking around, just from Wales and Wales, buddies, butties. <laughs> Love the rain. Well, you didn't. All right. So you know, the last thing you said to Taylor Burner was. Do it for Wales, mate. And then yeah. he fucking crashed ah, and burned. Ah, That's Wales all over, isn't it? <laughs> Burning. <laughs> crash and burn for Wales. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I think a week of crash and burning for some people. Uh, a, a weekend of superb skill and application of skill for other people. Um, just, just a brilliant weekend, really. Yeah, Sven, Rachel. I still happy. think. Um, I still. I still think it would have been good to see where, where Brooke and Sam would have finished up because those guys were looking quick I all week. Sam was win. I thought Brooke could have won. Sam is in such a good place right now. It's going to be good. The rest of the year is going to be good. Another day spent. And, and yeah, well, it's only like five more, uh, four more rounds. Okay, good, good work. Yeah, if everyone does, if people don't crash, it's better, isn't it? Rachel, Rachel hey, well, hang on, hang on, Rachel. <laughs> Will you even bother? What's the last World Cup this year? Leo Yang? Some shit? If, if you've got the overall sewn up, will you just boycott Leo Yang? No, I hate Yang. So, so if you've got it sewn up, will you just not race Leo Yang? As a statement to like not race bike park trucks? No, because every race you race is a, is a test of yourself, isn't it? So yeah, but if you've got it sewn up, why test yourself on a shitty track? Actually, you didn't do good there last year, so you yeah, probably no, should win. Never good, no. <laughs> you need to actually yeah. do Leo Yang. Sorry, Rachel. Suck. Why did you suck so bad at World Champs last year? I had a bad back. You had a bad back. Bad as fuck, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> she's, she's not. A lot of morphine that day. Yeah, folks, thanks for that. I'll let these lot carry on for the, the conclusion. <laughs> Are you allowed morphine or do you get tested for that? You can have as much painkillers as you want. Doesn't help, does morphine, it? Morphine is on the bad list. Huh? Isn't morphine like cocaine? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was like tablet form. The French doctor gave it to me. <laughs> French fucking doctor? He's like, this oh, That's help, definitely <laughs> safe. <laughs> what was his name, Mr. Ferrari? And I had, you know, then he patches. Dr. Ferrari, what was like his name? Like these Volterol things. Oh, no, I had five of them on four, actually. Shut up, say enough, take it.